We begin with this. The star witness in Paul Manafort's fraud trial will testify again this morning after telling jurors he and Manafort broke the law together. Rick Gates, a former deputy chairman of the Trump campaign, became its first senior official to admit criminal activity while under oath. Gates also testified that he stole money from Manafort, who served for a time as a Trump campaign chairman. Paula Reed is outside the courthouse in Alexandria, Virginia. Paula, good morning. Good morning. This trial, the first big public test for the special counsel, has nothing to do with President Trump or his campaign. But investigators uncovered evidence of possible crimes while investigating Russian meddling in the 2016 campaign. And some of the alleged bank fraud occurred while Manafort was chairman of the Trump campaign. Paul Manafort stared down his former colleague as he took the stand. But Gates looked directly at special counsel prosecutor Greg Andres as he asked Gates, did you commit crimes with Mr. Manafort? Yes, Gates replied. The special counsel's office charged Gates and Manafort with dozens of crimes related to their lobbying efforts on behalf of foreign governments. But Gates agreed to flip on his former boss in exchange for leniency, pleading guilty to conspiracy against the United States and making a false statement to the special counsel office. On the stand, Gates admitted that at Manafort's direction, he falsified tax returns, hid millions of dollars from Ukrainian operatives, failed to report foreign bank accounts, and failed to register Manafort as a foreign agent. Gates also admitted that while he helped Manafort commit these crimes, he also embezzled from him. I added money to expense reports and created expense reports that were not accurate, he said, to pad his salary by several hundred thousand dollars. Despite his damaging testimony, Gates also complimented his former boss, saying that Manafort is probably one of the most politically brilliant strategists I've ever worked with. Paul Manafort has done an amazing job. During the campaign, President Trump also praised Manafort and his team for their strategy. All of Paul's people, Paul brought on a staff, and we really do. We have a great staff of talented people. But following the indictments, the Trump administration consistently downplayed Manafort's role. Manafort has nothing to do with our campaign. But I feel so, I tell you, I feel a little badly about it. They went back 12 years to get things that he did 12 years ago. You know, Paul Manafort worked for me for a very short period of time. Prosecutors have at least three more hours worth of questions for Gates, and then defense attorneys will get a crack at him. Manafort's whole defense is that he put his trust in Gates, who then embezzled from him and failed to accurately report their business income to the government. Vlad. All right, Paula Reed, we'll be watching. Thank you.